SJF Errol Coney Day. Anacomputer.com Ultra Video Paddy Ori. I wanted to make this video pertaining to this bit of a predicament I'm having with this fucking web browser, Brave, Brave web browser on MX Linux. I want to disable the default built-in integrated ad blocker. It's called Brave Shields. And you see up here where I'm pointing at, I think you should be able to see that. Or I'm thinking you might be able to see the description. Anyways, but where my mouse is pointed at to the right of the address bar is the Brave Shields. Now, you go to settings, you click on the drop down menu, and you click on settings, and then you're supposed to have the control of disabling Brave Shields, as I can show you on screen. However, when I click the drop down and I select allow ads and tracking, it does not save it permanently. I have a different ad blocker program that I prefer. And plus, this Brave web browser is not perfect. I don't really like the built-in ad blocker. I think it, it's, it's not very well, I don't know, compared to this other ad blocker. It, it, I don't, something weird about it. And also I, I just, whatever. I noticed and then alt, and then you don't want to run two ad blockers at the same time. It's just like you don't want to run two antivirus at the same time. Well, I don't think you want to run two ad blockers at the same time. So, and the other ad blocker that I've been using works just fine. So I have a solution. Whenever, whenever I set this, you don't click save, you just, you change the setting and then it's supposed to automatically remain permanent. It's not permanent. Because when I close Brave Web Browser, I notice that the Brave Shields, which is right here. So if you click on Brave Shields on any website, maybe I'll, I don't want to make this video too long. It's still enabled is my point, even though I disable it. Now here's a more permanent way. Now there's two ways to go about it. On MX Linux, you can edit the start program or the taskbar item or the shortcut or whatever you want to call it. And also you can run it in a terminal. Let me show you the terminal first. It's real easy. What, you, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run Brave in a terminal with the, I'm going to disable the Brave Shields, which is the built-in ad blocker. So all you would do is, is in a terminal, I think it's slash user slash user slash bin slash grave, but I don't want to make this video too long, and so I'm going to get the actual command by clicking on properties for the launcher item, and then click on edit, and it's slash user slash bin slash brave browser, but there's more to it. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to highlight all of this on Linux, you highlight what you want, come on, go all the way to the end. Come on, motherfucker. All right, whatever. And then, dash, grade, extension, disable grade extension. Okay, I have to remember what I have to type. All right, so there's that. And then in a control terminal window, you would just end Use the scroll button, the middle. Well, it's not working. I don't know. Oh, it, what the fuck? Dude? Yeah, god damn it. So there is what's going to disable it. So to run it, slash user, slash bin, slash brave dash browser. And then you can also do the percent view. And then two dashes, two minus sign, whatever you want to call it. Disable dash Brave dash extension. And then it's going to run Brave web browser. I better close this one because I'm opening up a new, come on. I'm opening up a new browser and this little tablet is going to blow up. Now, as you, now wait a minute. 
It's still there. Come on. It did not work in a terminal. It's supposed to work in a terminal window. I'm pretty sure. Let's try it again. It may not work in a terminal, but I know it will work with the icon. I'll try that again. Usually in a terminal, if you tell it something, command line, it's going, it should work. But I still see the Brave Shield icon. Come on, motherfucker, I don't have all night. I have better things to do than make videos. Come on, I don't, I don't have all that. All right, well, we'll wait while this fucking tablet blows up. Come on. Okay, it worked. I don't know, I don't know what the difference is, but it worked finally. All right. Now, you notice the Brave Shields icon is missing. It's gone. And then if you go to a website, the built-in ad blocker will not function. And then, but if you go into settings, the motherfucking ad blocker called Brave Shields is still set to enable. I don't know why that is, but with Linux command line, I think it's probably permanently disabled. You know what I'm saying? Because I told the program, I told Linux, you know, open up this process slash user slash bin slash brave browser and disable this extension. I did not get any errors. The browser opened. However, if you scroll down, then it's probably still enabled. Come on. Oh my God, this tablet. See, it's set to block ads. That's not what I want. I disabled blocking ads, which should have toggled this to allow ads. So, but I'm pretty sure it's not running because the shortcut is here and blah, 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 blah. So that is one way. You can run Brave in a, in a terminal, through a terminal. I'm not sure why my website didn't load. It could be because uh, oh, I misspelled it. <laughs> That's funny. I fucking misspelled my own goddamn website. Oh, well, I don't give a shit. But I know you motherfuckers, you scum on YouTube, and especially you pieces of shit YouTube technology shills that work for the world order, and you only care about money, and you've got... 30 different affiliate links in the description box of their video because you're just capitalistic whores. All right, it's gonna work. My website is loading and I'm not, anyways, let's, yeah, there it goes. All right, so now another way, now let's see, there is some failed to initialize wallet. I'm not worried about that. Call with multi-processing thread. I don't see any errors saying anything about the the Brave extension. So I'm not worried about these errors. Now I'm going to do a control C and that web browser should die. It should close and it did. Now what you can do is you can edit the actual program item. I have a, a taskbar item right here. So I'm going to right click, choose properties, then I'm going to click on the pencil to edit it. And then I think I can control D and there it is. So the command is going to be this. It's going to be what's in the terminal up here or right there. Slash user slash bin slash grade dash browser space percent capital 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 U case sensitive. And then two minus signs, I guess. Or I think technically those are minus signs. Two minus disable, because that's a variable. You're giving the program a variable. Disable dash brave dash extension. So you're going to type this command into the shortcut. And I already have it there. And I just want to make sure, double check. There it is. Then you just click save. And then every time I click on the Brave web browser, you know, icon, start button, launcher, whatever the fuck you want to call it, 
it should disable the built-in brave shield ad blocker which i do not like i i don't think brave web browser is by it's not perfect i've noticed some weird shit with their default built-in ad blocker with some websites and th there you go so now the brave shields icon here is missing but when you go into settings it's still set to allow the the, the built-in ad blocker i don't i don't know why that is but knowing linux i have many years of experience with linux generally when you give a program a variable like that either by editing the item itself or in a terminal and you don't get any errors like if it said if there was a error related to disabling the brave extension here i would be concerned whereas i'm not i think it's some kind of a bug and you know what this i know you're not going to believe this one i know you're not going to believe it and i don't fucking care and if you're offended by me you know thinking outside of a box or not believing everything in society or you know what i'm saying or using analytical critical logical cynical thinking well fuck you get off my youtube channel there is a concept in computing called false positives now as you can see even though i disabled the brave ad blocker permanently it's still set to block ads. I don't want that. I want to allow ads. You know why? Because I don't want to have more than one ad blocker. I have an ad blocker up here that I prefer. And, I, and I've noticed when I use that one, I don't see these weird problems surfing most websites. In computing with web development, programming development, code, I think there is a concept called a false positive. It's very possible that when, you know, even though I permanently disable it, it still shows up as allowing block ads by default every time you open up the web browser. But the Brave Shields extension icon up here near the taskbar is gone. So this to me is a po false positive. I'd have to go through the logs and I'd have to, I'd have to try to figure out what and try to be if I can even figure it out or if I, if I can even read it in the logs. I'm assuming that the the ad blocker now is now permanently allowed, which is what I want because I have a different one running. So what I did was I disabled the Brave Shield, which is their default ad blocker. I don't want to use that one. I don't think it works 100%. There's some weird shit. And another way I can test is I can over time, I browse certain websites and, and I don't notice any weird shit with the, the other one enabled, then I think I, you know. So there's something weird with Brave Web Browser where I could not, you know, disable and allow ads and tracking and disable their fucking built-in ad blocker. Now, I don't know if it's just exclusive to Linux. I have another Linux laptop right over there. And I don't think I have, I'd have to double check. You know what, I don't really want to fuck with that computer, but you know how I roll, I don't script anything. So what I could do is I could run to that computer and I could quickly, what I would do is I would set this to allow ads and tracking, close the web browser, open it back up, go to settings, and is it, did it save the change? For whatever reason, on this fucking tablet, it's not saving that change, and that pisses me off. But you're going to have to look at the wall while I freestyle it. I'll be right back. So I'm going to do that. So right now, I don't even know if you can hear me probably not. So I'm going to go here to go settings and see if it's just exclusive to that computer. Yeah. It, it looks like, well, I, I, I did some searching. It's not, there are other people having this problem. I don't know how many people. On that computer, I just double checked. I did the same thing. On that computer, it's running the exact same Linux distribution, MX Linux. And I installed Brave Web Browser because I prefer it now. 
and I noticed the website. I know I just noticed browsing certain websites, and to me, certain websites I have to have function. They have to work, otherwise I lose money. And I noticed on that computer that yeah, when I had the the built-in Brave Shields enabled, which would be block ads, some websites that are very important to me just you know just weren't functioning right. And I was like, and I can't have that. You know what I'm saying? Not on, on certain websites that I make money. So that one worked. That one, when I clicked on ad control and selected allow ads and tracking, because I'm, I'm looking at it right now. But I know, I know how you are. You don't believe a word I say because I'm not a pale skinned European. Only pale skinned Europeans, you know, tell the truth. Only pale skinned Europeans, you know, know anything. The rest of us people of color were idiots and morons and we're liars. I know how you motherfuckers on YouTube function. All right. That one right there, it works. This one, there's some weird shit where when I disable the Brave Shield, it doesn't disable itself. And it could be a false positive. But I, I would have to dig through the log files. I don't even know if that's possible to go through the log files and find a line that says, you know, find a line for the ad blocker. Oh, so, and it's not a good thing. It's not a good thing to have more than to, redundancy is good in computing, but not always. And I, and I swear, I've noticed that this tablet isn't very fast to begin with, but I swear when this is set to block ads, and then the, the and before I disabled the Brave Shield, I swear browsing the internet has been slower on this fucking tablet the last few days. So that is how you permanently disable Brave Shield's ad blocker. Force the motherfucker with command line in Linux or edit the fucking <laughs> startup. Adios. Now I have to transition and you're going to probably see this as I stop the recording.